One of the big discussions that's been going around for years, but really it's starting to rear its head one more time. And part of this, I think, is because of the DJ convention recently where they were talking about illegal karaoke music, which then leads, and if you have karaoke, you know, whatever, which leads to the discussion of legal and illegal music services out there. And even on some of the Facebook groups, I see this question come up a lot of it. Where are you guys getting your music from? Where is a cheap, and I love this, where is a cheap spot to get my music? Now, those same people are looking for that cheap music or free music. And yes, I've seen people asking, where can I get music for free? Because I'm helping them promote their music. Really? Okay, whatever. Those same people are the ones who are whining that they aren't making, you know, 50 to 100 bucks a night for going out and playing in a bar or playing in a club or whatever they're doing. They're the ones, you know, it's like, okay, it's good for me to be asking for free. But when someone else asks me for free or low price, they get all, yeah, you see a hypocrisy here. Anyway. Getting off that one, let's look at music and let's talk about specifically free music or, or legal music services and illegal music services. What's the importance of that? Well, the legal music services are out there, they're licensed, they're licensed through the record labels to get music to you as a DJ. But I buy my music from iTunes, that's true, and we appreciate that. That's a good step to buy it from iTunes or somewhere that's reputable. The problem is, is that those songs technically are not to be played for a public performance. You'll find that with some of the, the, the legitimate sellers of music. The real music that we as DJs can go and actually use is really from a very few. There's only about five or six companies out there that will sell legitimate licensed music to you. And we're hoping to get to hear from some more of these companies so we can actually put a list together. I mean, just off the top of my head, your promo only, your, your prime cuts out of uh, Dallas, Texas, and of course, um, Top Hits USA are three of the main ones in the DJ industry that are licensed to sell music to you. It, it, it's not correct. To lease music to you. They're not selling you the, my, the music. They're leasing it to you because that's the way the agreements have to be with the record label. So we never technically own it, but I mean, let's realistically, that's the way we're doing it. We pay them, we get the music. So whatever you want to call that arrangement, that's what it is. Now, for those of you out there who are looking and saying, but I'm on this one DJ pool and it's been up there for 20 years and, and it's great man, or 10 years and no one's ever busted and no one's ever said anything. Very few of those are legal. A good way to, to look at it is if you're checking the music, licensing of music only goes back so many years and then it gets really, really difficult to do. So if you've got a music source that has oldies in there, that has 80s and 90s and different things in there, it's probably not a legal music service. And I know that's for some of you, it's kind of freaking you out a little bit. It's the reality of it. When it comes to audio, if you go back too far, if it goes back too far, it's probably not legit. Secondly, is if you're at one of those websites, the download websites where you can go and you know, for $10 a month, I can get every song that they've ever had. I get full access to it. No, that's great if it, if it would be legit, but it's probably not. Go look for a phone number. Can you contact them with anything besides a contact form? Is there a physical address? If those aren't on there, it's not legit, gang. It's just not. Because what they're doing is they're hiding. And what will happen is that something will be shut down and then, then two months later, all of a sudden they'll show up at, with a different website. And I have seen this a few times myself because I get emails from different companies saying, hey, you, you want to have an account? And you know the one that I got yesterday, I think it was, was $30 for unlimited access for the music and for a month and you could go download everything you want. And then they had video and all this, whatever, whatever, whatever. And I went to the website and I looked around. You couldn't find any contact information. You could find a form to fill in, but you couldn't find out where they were from, phone number, uh, chat, nothing. That's a good sign that this is not legitimate. And they'll say that they are, but truthfully, if you could talk to the record labels, but unfortunately the record labels are really tough to get in contact with. They are not legitimate licensed music service. So the two things, if there isn't contact information, it's probably not legit. And if they have music that's over three years old, three to four years old, because there's kind of the statute of limitation when it comes to audio, if they have older audio tracks than that, it's probably not legit. Oh, but it's a pool where different DJs share the music together. Yeah, if the licensing people would find that pool and if they thought there was enough value to shut it down and not offend a whole lot of DJs that may cost them more money in the long run, it would probably be gone. There's going to be some changes in the music industry coming up because this kind of stuff is really becoming prevalent and it's not going to be able to be allowed to run forever. So be aware of it. You may find that one day your favorite music service that's costing you seven and a half dollars a month and it gives you everything is going to be gone. Think about it today because legal music is really for the benefit of the industry. Uh -huh.